the Diet of Four. April 18, 1521. Martin Luther, the chief catalyst in the Protestant Reformation, defies the Holy Roman Emperor Charles V by refusing to recant his theses. He had been called to Worms, Germany to appear before the assembly on charges of heresy. In 1517, Martin Luther drew up the 95 theses condemning the Catholic Church on their corrupt practice of selling indulgences, or forgiveness of sins. In 1521, the Pope excommunicated Luther, and he was called to appear before the Emperor at the Diet of Worms to defend his beliefs. Martin Luther, you have been called to the stand to play against charges of heresy. Your 95 theses have protested the Christian belief. Defend yourself if you can. Thank you for allowing me to plead my case. God's word is the Bible and we can only listen to God's word. A pope is not God. A priest is not God. And the men who stand before me are certainly not God. The only word of God is the Bible. This man has no right to question the pope and his messages from God. Silence! How dare you question the authority of the church and the authority of the pope? The only word of God is the Bible. Joan Tetzel has told the people that they can buy their way into heaven. Who is he to sell passage into heaven? He is certainly over anyone, not a messenger of God. And you, the church, have let this occur. It simply goes against the word of God. God, he gave you his only perfect son to be slaughtered and sacrificed for the people to have eternal life. And you allow him to be betrayed by the lies of a man like Johann Tetzel. There's nothing that you can do to get into heaven besides believing in Jesus to be your savior. Your views have not been proven by anything but your imagination. My views have been proven by the only true word of God, the Bible. You're a heretic and you've gone against God's will. However, you've earned my respect by coming here and pleading your case. I shall keep my word and grant you safe passage to wherever you must go. Once you're safely escorted to the place you choose, you will not be protected by my guards anymore. Here I stand. I cannot do otherwise. God help me. Amen. With these words, Martin Luther's trial at the Diet of Worms came to an end. The emperor was young, but he had some honesty. He honored his promise of safe passage. He gave Martin Luther 21 days to return to Wittenberg after which he would treat him as an obstinate heretic, which meant most likely that he would be put to death. Luther accepted the safe passage from the Diet of Worms and began to make his way to Wittenberg. But it was along the way that his protector, Frederick the Wise of Saxony, had him snatched by soldiers and delivered to Wartburg Castle near Eisenach. <laughs> Please leave me be. I was granted safe passage by the Roman Emperor. You'll be killed. We're not here to hurt you. Who are you then? I'll tell you when you're safe. Who are you? We are soldiers of Frederick the Wise of Saxony. We have taken you so you could be spared of execution from Charles V. Although he showed you mercy once, you pose a threat against the church, and they will no longer we are mercy near the you. castle in which you will live. You will be given supplies to translate the Bible. Welcome to the Grand Wartburg Castle. Your arrival has been greatly anticipated. I have seen your thesis and think your philosophy can do many great things for the people of Germany. I thank you deeply for helping me escape my inevitable death. In the time that Martin Luther was at the castle, he was able to translate the Bible from Latin to German, making it easily readable for the people of Germany. Before Martin Luther translated the Bible to German, you would have to be highly educated and would need to be able to read Latin. 
Later, Martin Luther died on February 18, 1546, at age 62, because of a stroke, leaving his legacy and ideals to the people of the world. <laughs> Thank uh-huh. you.